This video update is just going to be a brief look at how to customize some things in the user uh, interface of 3ds Max and hopefully clarify some things about the workspace, um, my own workspace that you may have found confusing while try to, trying to follow along in my previous tutorials. I've received comments and private messages from novice users who uh, were watching my videos and wondering why certain tools or features uh, appear in different locations or not at all uh, in the, on their screen compared to my own. And uh, this, I guess, has caused some confusion um, in following along with some tutorials. You know, I've been asked many times uh, which release of the software I'm using or uh, even so far as to say, uh, to speculate if I'm working with some proprietary version of the software that isn't commercially available. Um, the truth is I'm working on a relatively older version of 3ds Max, uh, but I've customized the user interface to suit my personal workflow. Up here in the header taskbar, you can see I'm still working with 3ds Max 2012 here on my personal workstation at home. Uh, this is the version I've been using to record all of my tutorials on this channel. and. Uh, I, I do plan on finally upgrading to a more current version very soon. Um, so first thing is that I always get questions about what are all these colorful uh, icons here at the top and and uh, what, what do they do. Um, I won't get into uh, everything about them. Uh, suffice to say that most of them are icons uh, for quick access to different scripts that I've installed, uh, free scripts mostly, or plugins. Um, I attain most of the, my scripts from scriptspot.com. Um, they have a vast library of uh, useful tools there. And uh, these icons basically have just been distributed with either the script or the plugin. And uh, if you go to customize, customize user interface, um, you could just find the category of whatever script you're working with and see if it has an icon uh, alongside it. And if so, then you can add it to either the toolbar or your menus. Aside from that, um, another question is uh, about the graphite modeling tools at the top here. Um, basically, uh, what I've done here is I've just simply maximized the uh, graphite modeling ribbon at the top of my workspace. Uh, by default, I believe the ribbon is minimized, and I know some users actually prefer to uh, have it that way, or um, some people have it completely disabled, uh, probably to save space, but um, uh, I, I utilize the tools there so often that I've decided to keep it uh, permanently available and for quick access. Um, if you look right here, you can see that there's a button that uh, is intended to minimize the uh, panel buttons. Uh, right next to it is a little black arrow that if you click on it, it will drop down this box here. Um, and you can see that I have the cycle through all checked. And when that's enabled, it allows me to then go to the uh, arrow at the left and just click it and it will cycle through all of the available uh, uh, display features for the ribbon. Okay, and uh, so I believe that this here would be the most compact version. This might be the default version of it, uh, I'm not sure, but um, just click that button and uh, this is the one that I use by default. So, Another common question about my display is um, in regard to the uh, command box over here. I'll show you what I mean. I'll just bring up a, a box here and go to my modifiers. And you can see that I have all of these buttons right here underneath my modifier list rollout. I've been asked uh, how did I get them here and why are they there. And 3ds Max allows you to customize your modifier uh, list, basically, into, uh, into these quick access buttons. And um, you can do that by going right down here to this box that says Configure Modifier Sets. 
you have to have show buttons enabled obviously and then co click configure modifier sets and they give you a list of uh, you know you have your modifiers over here on the left and they give you a list of sets that they think are uh, useful um, but you can go to custom and that will give you a, a basically a blank sheet here that of modifiers that you can drag and drop which ones you find important from the left over to here and it'll create a button for it for you um, you could tell it how many uh, buttons in total that you want and then again just drag and drop whatever modifiers you use most often into this uh, space right here on the right hand side and it will create these buttons and uh, so currently I have a total of 18 buttons and um, you just hit save give it a name and then click OK I'm not going to change this right now but when you've done that it will display those buttons right here underneath your uh, modifier list drop down and this is obviously uh, an excellent way to speed up your workflow so these aren't anything I mean there may be a couple here and there like the uh, quad champ for uh, quad cap pro uh, these are plugins that I have but um, for the most part these are all standard 3ds max uh, modifiers that I've just added to these buttons all right and um, you can see that you just click that button instead of uh, scrolling through this large list uh, you know of modifiers um, you have your most used ones there over here on the left hand side and you'll see this in all of my tutorials as well however I don't utilize anything over here in my tutorials and the reason for that is because this is the RAPA tools R-A-P-P-A -P -P -A tools um, workbench um, toolbar, whatever you want to call it. Um, Rapid Tools is a very, very useful and um, extremely powerful set of plug-in uh, tools for to extend the uh, capabilities of 3ds Max. Um, there are so many things over here that um, this programmer has added to this plug-in that uh, aren't available in um, the native version of 3ds max and their great time saving modeling and uh, um, texturing animation tools all right i hope this has clarified uh, some things about my uh, user interface and uh, i hope it helps some people follow along with the tutorials a little bit easier without uh, becoming overwhelmed or uh, confused by what you see on this screen here so all right thank you very much for watching um, I will have a regular tutorial again coming very soon probably within the next day or so so please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, I'll see you again soon bye